So this is Fact TV at South by Southwest. And I'm Shura. I live in Shepherd's Bush in London and uh, I make my music from there. Uh, I guess it's kind of pop through an indie R&B filter, so it's kind of like awkward pop is how I like to describe it. Growing up, I had the most varied kind of musical education ever, so as a child I was listening to uh, Immaculate Collection era Madonna, Elton John, uh, Tina Turner, and then when I got a bit older um, and started discovering music for myself, I kind of listened to a lot of indie music, uh, and anything with kind of really interesting guitar tones, so like the Smiths, and then as I got even older, my my older brother Oliver, who um, is a DJ, he, well, he, he likes to DJ, kind of taught me about drum and bass. So that was when everything sort of flipped and I kind of was listening to Ed Rush and Optical. He introduced me to Burial, which I guess that really changed my life and I, and I just loved how melodic that electronic music was and got really excited by trip hop. And, and I think that's when, I, that's when my music started kind of taking that, that electronic leaning. The way I've released stuff so far has been a single at a time. I think a lot of that's been because Hi. of the amount of attention. Hello! <laughs> the amount of attention Touch received. I thought, you know, 2,000 people would listen to it and that would be great. But um, obviously it kind of exploded on the internet. And I was like, oh, I've only got like three other songs. I, I, better, get, I better get writing. Um, so, yeah, there is a body of work. It's not finished, it's not full. Like, I've, I've probably got just over half an album. Um, I would love for it to be out in, in the autumn because I'd love to tour in autumn. And I love winter, um, so that would be great. But if it's not good enough, it's just not going to happen. No, no, no. I, you can only do it once, and if you can't do it once well, then go home. Like that's how that's how I feel. It's just like uh, it has to be the best, like not the best thing in the whole world ever because that's just unrealistic. But the best that you could ever give at that moment in your life. The video for Touch yeah. is an idea that I had before I'd even finished the song. I just, it was like I had to do it. I spoke to my, one of my best friends at work and was like, can you direct this? Because I'll go crazy <laughs> if, I, if I have to do everything. Because um, I was going to edit it. I did edit it. Yeah, so it, it was an idea that I had. I had virtually no money. Had to borrow some of my dad. Luckily I've paid him back now. <laughs> and um, ask my, like, I didn't have any actors, just ask my friends to be involved. And I think it kind of, it worked really nicely in a way because I guess the song is about love and not to go like full 70s flower power on you, but there was a lot of love in the room. Like it was just a bunch of my friends wanting to kick butt for, for, for something that I wanted to kick butt at. I was just really, like we still look back on it and go, what a fun day that was. We had, you know, we all went to the pub afterwards and just, like, we just like, I can't believe we just did that. It's amazing to come to South By because it's something that I've followed probably pretty closely for the last three, four years and always dreamt of, of going. So it's kind of weird to be like stood here looking at you and you and, and, and be part of it um, for the first time. I feel like I'm in the Hunger Games, like just running around, like there's everyone else is just like trying to like make make stuff happen and it's it's super exciting it's just it's super intense as well it's, it's like it's not like a Glastonbury it's not like it's yeah. not that kind of a festival but it's, it's I, I thought there were like 200 bands here I was I was trying to explain to my friends how intense it was I was like oh there's some venues like 200 bands and my manager just chipped in going like there's about 1500 bands shoe and I was like holy shit, that's insane <laughs> I guess the live show is we try and we try and do something a bit different, and try and change it up a little bit, and um, and play around because it's a really good way of road testing. One, the songs that have already been written. So you know, when it comes to an album version, it's like, oh, do we change it because this works really well live? So maybe let's add this or road testing songs that aren't even really finished, haven't, they haven't even been properly recorded yet. So you can go that goes down like a house on fire, that is great, have to keep that. Or maybe we could speed this up by 10 BPM or... Yeah, I guess it's like a, a mini insight into what a Shura album might sound like, which is probably slightly more guitar-y than people think, but uh, we'll see.